Trevor Lawrence is not a, is not a topic, but Justin Fields is because he is the number two guy and he just played a, a bad game by his standards. So what do you think of Justin Fields? Yeah, I, so I'm going to be honest. I have not watched a lot of Justin Fields this year. I'm trying to get into just watching full games of the college quarterbacks like now and because I'm on winter break, but I've not watched a lot of Justin Fields this year. I will say this. When I watched Justin Fields last year, like I knew the hype, right? Number two recruit out of high school. He's going to be the number two pick when he comes out of draft just because Trevor Lawrence exists. Otherwise, he's a number one level prospect. When I watched him last year, I watched him versus Michigan. I didn't think he was that good. I really didn't. Like, I see the physical ability everybody sees, but he, I don't know, there's just a lacking in feel. I don't think the physical ability is like a Justin Herbert or a Josh Allen. It's not a maximum. I, th mm -hmm. I think it's pretty good. He's got a really good arm. He can make all the throws. He's athletic. On theory, he checks every box, but nothing is elite. Physically, yes. Right, but nothing is elite. And I just didn't think he played with a natural, I feel like there's a feel and accuracy and a touch to playing quarterback. I don't know how to describe it, but I think this is why people loved Joe Burrow in spite of him having not a very strong arm. And that's because he had a touch on how to throw every single football. The guy's running a crosser, how to kind of lay it on him. You know, Tom Brady's the best I've ever seen at this, where he just has a feel on how to throw every ball, how to take pace off the football, how to just fit it in the spots. It's just, it's a very natural thing. And I just didn't see that with Justin Fields, you know, where it's, it didn't feel like, well, my guy's running a crosser and I'm going to put it on him in a way that's comfortable for him to catch it. It just felt like he just kind of throws it and stuff. That's just my opinion. Agreed. I haven't done enough Agreed. research to be definitive, but that was my takeaway from last year. And my big thing was, well, I've seen Kyler Murray and I've seen Joe Burrow. If those guys are number one picks, then how is this guy a number one pick? Yeah. I, to me, he should not be a top 10 pick. When, when I look at him, I, I, I look at, I think about Jalen Hurts. And Jalen Hurts is doing well right now. So maybe Justin Fields can do well and I'm being too hard on him. That the way that the NFL is evolving, that there's a place for a guy like J Justin Fields. But I think he's got to be – to. I mean, if he's a first-round pick, he has to play right away. And if he's going to not bust and have success, he needs to be playing in an offense like Jalen Hurts is playing in right now, where he's in the shotgun, he's running the zone read, running about 10 to 15 times a game and running for, like, ideally 100 yards. Is that the offense Kyle Shanahan wants to run? No. If he had his choice? No. He's not. I mean, if, if Jed York said you have to draft Justin Fields, the way Dan Snyder said, you have to drive right. Griffin. He'll be like, all right, you know, I'll do what I got to do if he's a 29 year old offensive coordinator, but now he's a 42 year old head coach. I don't think if he had his choice, I think he would pass on Justin Fields, even yeah. though he went to the quarterback collective and tried to study with the Niners guys. Oh, did he go there? He did. He did. Yeah. He did. Oh yeah. I mean, he's not, I'm not like, I don't he could think be good. Right. He could be good, but I, I, I'm i not the biggest fan of Justin Fields currently. Maybe he's gotten a lot better this year. I know I was reading on Twitter. I didn't wake up early enough to watch the game, but I was reading that he was having a pretty rough game against Northwestern. I mean, it's tough and to say. He didn't have to throw. He would look at his hand. He completed four of his last 17, and then he'd miss and be like, oh, man. I mean, everybody – everybody – Everybody who's been the who's been an athlete has either done that or knows the person who does that. I'm not saying he wasn't hurt, but you know the person who, oh, I just got beat my my hamstring, my hamstring yeah. hurts.